Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. We're looking at this L110, the automatic hydrostatic transmission John Deere machine. This is powered by a, a Kohler. So I got this thing for 40 bucks from one of my scrappers. Missing the steering wheel and the seat, and luckily today I came up with both of those things. We'll discuss that. This has got the Command 17.5. I had thrown a good battery in it. The battery that was in the machine was a, a 2019. It was out of date. We had Zippo on this battery. So I was looking on uh, Marketplace, had seen a, a John Deere rider. It was the L100, and it was the um, five-speed transmission. No deck, the uh, ad set engine runs, you can have the rest of the machine, and I noticed it had the uh, steering wheel and it also had um, this rough looking seat. So I messaged the gentleman and I said, uh, I'd just be interested in the seat and the uh, steering wheel if you wanna sell that separately. So he, he said, uh, how does 20 sound for the both? And I said, that's perfect. So he sent me the address and he's actually in my neighborhood. So it took me like, a minute and a half to get to his house, so that was kind of a coincidence. I think he wanted uh, maybe 70 for the whole thing. Tires were flat. I didn't want to mess with the whole unit. I'd just have that sitting around, so I just took the seat and the steering wheel, and so I put both of those on today. Well, I put the steering wheel on. We got um, we got to mess with maybe some painting. That's why I didn't put the seat on. I actually went to see him twice. The springs were missing on the machine, and I got home and went to match up the seat. I knew the seat would fit because it was an L series um, frame. But these were missing, so I went back. And I gave him five bucks for the pair, the bolts and the spring, because if I went to John Deere, these would probably be 15 bucks and five bucks for the bolts. So I gave him five. He was happy with it. So we're into it for the battery and then um, 20 and then the five so 25 and I paid 40 for it so I kind of was poking around underneath to see blade condition blades are great but there's a string here wrapped around this side so I got to get under there and cut that off kind of was looking at the pulleys there's a plastic pulley in this vicinity for the uh, transmission drive it's like a tension or that thing actually melted the plastic it's got a uh, steel uh, bushing bearing assembly in the middle of the outer plastic um, overheated so maybe the uh, bearing is bad overheated and melted the plastic so I actually started this about 20 minutes ago. I um, had cleaned out the uh, gas tank the best I could. And um, what I did is put a shot vac in there and, and got um, most of the, the gasket from this cap fell down. I've had that happen before. The only reason I used the shot vac is there was no gas or any vapors in there. You don't want to have gas in there and use the shop vac you'll blow yourself up the vapors will be pulled into the electric motor and the most of those motors or the switches will arc you don't want to blow up your front yard 
So empty tank, that's why I use the uh, shop back. And I didn't get all of it. There's a little bit that kind of was in the back of the tank. It moved itself forward here, but it's, it's nothing to worry about. The uh, pickup tubes in this area. So I just tried a can of spray paint, some Rust-Oleum I had to match. But I do have a can of um, green matching John Deere paint. And ironically, it says farm implement paint. They can't use the word John Deere on the paint. I got to commandeer that can and it's the same John Deere green. This here is more like a forest green. So what my idea is with all this off, go ahead and um, lightly sand it and then paint behind the seat, paint all this stuff up. Because when people see all this rusty deck, it's gonna turn them off. If I can paint the, the uh, deck here, there's not much metal surface to cover. Do all this here with the John Deere green, I think it'll help it out. So this thing's coming along great. It's the L110A, production date January 5th. It's the model GXL110 Alpha 1783.19. That's over here under this um, grass height deck adjustment here. It's under there on the frame. If you're looking for the ID, it's under here. Let me set you up and I'll let you listen to this. It kind of smokes. I had drained quite a bit of oil off of this after the first video. Just let it drip into a container here to bring it down. So I don't know if we have a leaky valve cover, but um, everything that dripped down onto the muffler has been burning off. So with it running, I moved it forward and back, but I could hear that um, clatter on the that pulley that's melted i didn't engage the blade i don't want that um string getting any more wrapped up on that one spindle So I think we said it had 565 hours. You could hear the surging. I'm gonna go ahead and take the carb off and clean it up. A little bit of sputtering and surging. It wouldn't hurt to clean up the carb. There may be some jet blockage. I don't know how long this thing sat. Maybe it sat from 2020 or so, or 2021. We got a eighth month of 19 on the battery 
This is the last battery that was in it. These last for a couple years, so maybe 2021. It's been sitting maybe three, two or three years. So I'm kind of happy. 40 for the unit and then 20 for the seat and steering wheel. I, I think I did a good job on this so far. Blades are excellent. I don't have to change those. There's a nice um, straight edge, maybe touch them up. 42 inch uh, cut. Order that pulley for the drive system and uh, I, I think we'll be on the way with this. 2004 let me know what you think we got 60 65 plus the battery 65 plus the battery because I had to go back and buy the springs This Sunset Lawn Equipment, I looked them up out of business. All these joints are going under for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe people don't take equipment in to be serviced. They're just going out and buying new. When it breaks down, it goes to the street for the scrappers to pick up. Anyway, this has got four new tires. I think I mentioned that in the first video. So somebody had spent some money on this thing and then let it sit. You see all the stubbies. Usually we end up on these riders. You get two or three flats and it's a pain in the ass. You got to put inner tubes in them. So this was kind of a... Uh, a bonus, no flats. There's no bulbs in the headlights. Those are in off. We got some cracking. I don't care about the cosmetics. I want, uh, I want it to be mechanically sound. And we did look at this. I gotta tack this up. I'm gonna drop the uh, deck and uh, drag this over to my stick welder and put this back on. It's uh, held on by a strand on the back side. There's barely anything holding this thing up to the hardware. So that'll be a fun little project. Remove the um, bracket. Use a couple of magnets to get this straight. Maybe a couple of pieces to, of metal to reinforce it. Because just welding the seam, this is gonna pop off again. I'm gonna have to reinforce it maybe from the bottom. Put a piece of flat stock under there and weld to that. We'll see how that turns out. Anyway, that's my update on the 2004. I'll do an Earl Scheib paint job on this because the first pictures I take of this thing like this with all this rust and people are gonna squawk. If I can, can kind of blend it in like Earl would have done, I think we'll be in business. It'll be a 50 yards away paint job. And I figured with the seat off already, half the battle has been accomplished. I got direct access to all this peeling paint. So we're gonna rectify it. So let me know what you think for 65 so far. It's a work in progress. I do have a seat cover I'm gonna throw on here, actually. I really didn't care about the condition of the seat. I just needed one, I needed the bottom bracket. I 
happened to have this seat cover when my scrapper called me about the gentleman with the 11 push um, rider mowers. I went to meet him over at the gentleman's house. I commandeered this cover. He had um, several John Deere's. So I said, I'll give you five for the cover. So I think we're in good shape. That $5 paid off because I can use it on this project. I, th I think they're um, 25 or 30, the Chinese aftermarkets. It won't say John Deere. It'll just be a yellow cover with no, no jumping deer. But this is an original factory cover, part number 92324, made in China. Anyway, that's where we're at. Thanks for coming out checking this out please like and subscribe tip your waitress and wait staff drink plenty of orange juice let me know what you think for 65 i think we can get this up and running for under 100 i'm thinking now it's just that pulley and some manual labor have a good day today.